Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car, and we've got a very exciting video for you today. Look at what I got my hands on right here. This is the pigment called Green from CultureHustle.com. Now, we've worked with CultureHustle.com before. We've used their lit glow-in-the-dark powder. It worked really well. They're a company that has a lot of very cool, very unique pigments and powders on their website, and with those products come some very bold claims. Now, let me read you a little bit about this green powder from the website. Now, this is the world's greenest green. It is a super bright, high pigment fluorescent green powder. It is something that powerfully reflects light. It looks bonkers under visual light and apparently goes pretty crazy over UV light as well. So the world's greenest green, a high pigment fluorescent, should look pretty awesome. Now, we've got our Evo here. We've got a white base down on it already. We're gonna see how this turns out. I'm super pumped. Hopefully you are too. Enjoy the video. Now, the website says the pigment is water activated. And in order to get a super fluorescent look, you need to mix the product with water. Now, we tested it with water and with our DYC matte top coat, and we got it to dissolve in the DYC top coat really well. And actually, side by side, it actually looked brighter at the same pigment load in the matte top coat. So we're good to go there. Now, as far as how much pigment we're gonna add per gallon, we're just gonna start with 75 grams. That should be a good load. We're gonna put it over the white, coat by coat, see if we need to make any adjustments from there. We're gonna jump right in. Well, we've got our first coat down at 75 grams per gallon. And as you can see, we are nowhere near the pigment load that we need to be. You can barely see the color on the car at all. This is gonna take a lot of powder. So we're gonna take the three gallons of matte top coat that we have. I have two 500 gram bags of this pigment and we are so far away where we should be. I'm just gonna dump both of those 500 gram bags directly into the three gallons, blend it up, and hopefully that'll help us get the job done.
All right, guys, we are finally done with this project. Now, I want to start this off by reading a disclaimer right off the company's website at the bottom of the product description. And it states, we're not actually sure if this is the world's greenest green ever. It could well be. It's the greenest we could come up with, and we've not seen anything greener. And I had some very high expectations of this pigment when we went into this project. Is this the greenest green that we've ever seen? I don't know, I'm not even sure how to judge that really. But is it the brightest green that we've ever seen? And that I can confirm a very big yes. This is an obnoxiously bright green car. It goes nuts outside and it goes absolutely crazy under UV light. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Now, is this a project that you should try at home on your own car? Absolutely not. We had to use 2,500 grams of this pigment to get solid coverage on the car. That means we had to use the two 500 gram bags. It wasn't enough and we had to overnight three more bags just to get this done. I have no idea how many coats we applied to this car, but it took an eternity. Not to mention, I have no idea what the UV stability is of this pigment. So it could fade very quickly. It could last a long time, I'm not sure. This is obviously a very cool, unique pigment that's awesome for a ton of different projects, but I don't think it's practical for cars. Now, if you wanna dip your own car, click up here. It'll bring you to our car kits. We have tons of colors and kits to choose from. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go check out the car right now. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. And if you like the car, like the video. It really helps us out quite a bit. It's Fonzie, I'll see you guys on the next one. the world's greenest green, according to the website. It says a super bright, high pigment fluorescent green powder. It's an ultra bright, <laughs> greenest green. It is a super bright, high pigment fluorescent powder. It's supposed to powerfully reflect light off of, uh, fucking, I don't fucking care. How? How am I supposed to re read the website knowing it doesn't make any fucking sense? I don't think sense. you have to. Don't read the website? You can just make up your own. I'll make up, but I can't misquote the website. I'll just have to pick and shoot. I can't read the fucking text on the website. So the website says the pigment is water activated and in order to get the, I don't know, what am I even doing here? So the website says the pigment is water activated and in order to get a super fluorescent, you need to mix it with water. Now we tested it with water and with our matte glossy, matte glossy top coat. Do you want to just do this? 
am I doing? Now I had some pretty big expectations going into this project. Is this the greenest green I've ever used? I'm not even sure how to judge that. But is, the, is it the brightest green I've ever used? Well, that is easy to judge and I would say, yeah, this is probably the greenest green, you son of a bitch. So is this the greenest green I've ever used? It's, I don't know really how to, but, but the fuck, what, what? Green we've ever used? Yeah, I think it honestly is. It is obnoxiously bright. It is definitely fluorescent. I cannot wait to show you guys how to, how this, what am I doing? Is it the brightest green we've ever used? I would have to say yes. This car is obnoxiously bright. It is absolutely fl fluorescent. This is what happens when I try to film on an empty stomach.